Hello, hello, and welcome to Bed Along Fridays. Today's subject is the Maglev Rail Starter from Tinkertef. And, 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 simultaneously, the Maglev Rail Add-on. If you haven't seen my uh, product review on this very set um, this past Wednesday, um, Essentially, um, the add-on just has um, two of these, two of these straights, one curve, and two uh, maglev cars. On top of the five straights, two curve, and three car, three cars, and turntable of the uh, starter set. Now, theoretically, I have in my possession. Uh, hold on here. Do, do, do. About 80 linear inches of maglev to uh, play around with. Although I'll probably uh, buy more of the um, add ons, or maybe just buy another starter set so I can have two switch points, turntables, something. I guess um, there was an issue with my laptop uh, during the uh, deep Maglev Depot build, or something, or maybe they took my my uh, not complaint, my issue about the uh, PDF not being all there to heart, because I just downloaded both of the uh, starter and the. Uh, The starter PDF and the add-on PDF and the, all all the pictures are there. But since I'm doing both at the same time, I deleted the um, add-on since it's a carbon copy of the uh, of the starter, at least to what's relevant. All right, Ooh, I got a, a thick pile of stuff to build. So let's see what we got here. Alright. Ah! Scroll, scroll. Stop. How do I zoom in this? Ah, up here. One, two. There we go. Ah, this is easy enough. We just pop out A2. Eh. Eh. And we glue it to. Oh, A3 gets glued onto the top of that. <clears throat> nice. Okay, what do we have here? Oopsies. Pop. Out. 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 Same thing. Ooh. Oh my. Wait. No, be stay in place. Clever. Alright, so let me uh, see what we got here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Uh, I don't need that much, but. Got a second, sorry. Okay, so these points act as a uh, reference for this to slide out on top of. Neat. Okay. Uh, glue. Glue. Alright, that is step one. Now I've got a lot of these. So instead of boring you all, I'll just glue them all and resume when I'm done. See you on the flip side. Oh boy, uh, whoops, ran out of clothespins. So, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so we take, um, here we go, one of the first ones I've done. We take one of these. Oh, bring you about. 
the pop out A4. I think I just need a one. Oh, wait. Let me verify something. Okay. It's just a one. So we've popped one of you out. I think the others are for something else later. And it seems like we're building the uh, the curved rail sections first. I mean, I don't think it matters because these are the same as the uh, straight rail sections. Uh, let's go by the, by the instructions saying. All right, so we take one of those. Two of these, C4. Hmm, C4, big boom. Big boom, yeah. Okay, no mind. <clears throat> Pop out. Do -do. Pop out. Oh. Okay, what do we have here? Mm. Ah, lid. Lid on the loose. Lid recovered. Okay. Oh, yeah, um, as a side re reference. They um, want you to build this using white glue and with what well, the conditions, but they are, the uh, super glue dries quick. So I could see why they want you to use white glue and top of that kind of dries clear of that sheen. But super glue dries quick. <sighs> And in my opinion, is a much stronger, well, obviously stronger adhesive. And I say then this piece just slides on down. And this, okay, whoops. All right, there we go. One, a, oh, oh. Ah. All right, I know what to do to take care of that. Say it dries quick and, and under these humid weather conditions, it's like, nope, I'm on camera. I am not going to do what, I tell, what you tell me to do. Ugh, silly things. And yep, there we go. And like that, one button done. Ugh. Oh, okay. Set you aside. There's two clothes pins retained. I will continue building this pile. And once are dry, I'll build these up. Then eventually, all they'll all be done. So with that, see you all on the flip side. All right, this sort of makes no sense. It looks like the straight rail pieces are next, despite having these from the uh, curve track pieces. I personally don't think it matters because they're identical, but let's build how the manual wants it. Alright, so from this we just uh, pop you out, pop you out. Let's see here. Wait, this folds? Let me see here. Uh, Ah, this does fold, but we don't worry about it to the next step. Alright. So for this one, one. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Next I'm gonna need some clothespins to get their straights on. No B. And let me see here. Oh this is neat. Uh, hold on, let me see here. Do, 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 Try to get these pieces flush. 
I mean, I'm, make, I'm signing it, making like some big massive deal. It's really not. Just trying to find the. Oh, okay, I see it's now. You want these to fit within. Oh, can you see how that's starting? Okay, there we go. That has strayed a little bit. And I think we are. We are. Yep, we are equal. Now to. Huh. Can I reach? Yes, I can reach. I think that's good enough. Alright. Well, that was quick, dirty, and simple. Alright. Uh, let me do this several more times and uh, I'll get back right back to you. So, whew. Alright. That was uh, that was quite a good bit. Alright, so what do we have next? Do 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 do. Okay, we flip you over. A1, uh, A5, uh. I need two of these per track section. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's one down. Uh, crunch, crunch, roll, crush, crush. Uh. I highly suggest when you do these to uh, have a large bag nearby for all the scraps if you're not going to use these as like rubble or, ter or scatter terrain okay so oh that seems to be a slight miss in the printing huh. You know, I don't think it's going to be seen all that much. So, well, these are spot on. Alright, so what do we have? Well, we have you. We have you. You. Oh, wait. You're like that. <laughs> I get you now. And then. You are. like that huh okay interesting so how am I going to go about gluing this uh, maybe just get the bottom glued in uh, oh, oh that's a little too much uh, let's get let's do that There we go. Okay. Can I start it? Stay. Rrr. Stay. Rrr. Nice. Okay, same story here. Knowing that, I think I'll just do that and that. Okay, press you down for a little bit, and what do we have here? Glue both support assemblies onto the straight rail top assemblies. Okay, so this is where these fold. And it seems like they go on these narrow ends, like so don't need much so just need enough on the edge or you can glue them here and there hmm. I think in hindsight that might have been the slightly well, uh. oh wow 
I'm not sure about that, or am I doing this wrong? Um, best bet, let's take a look at the uh, final product. And, uh, oh, I am actually wrong. Uh oh. Crap. It goes in there like so. It's also a lot more comfortable fit in. F oh. I did not see that detail. Okay. Clever. You only need the two, though. Alright, so, knowing that, uh... Alright. Slide you down there, like so. There we go. Hey, that's actually a rather sturdy piece. Nice, and that's directional. Neat. All right, so I got five from the starter, two from the add-on, seven more to go. Oh, that's actually clever. Wait, if that's the case, uh oh, I'm gonna shortchange myself. Might have. I think I'm. I think I'm good. Let me let me just roll on down. Uh, wait. Do not use glue on these pieces. I meant ah, okay, yes for that. That's the next step on straight. Yep. Curved tracks get three. The straights get two. Fascinating. It's not, what's not fascinating is the heart burn that's kicking in. Ah. I had saw something. Oh crap, closed out. How'd I do that? I think it was on the um, maglev uh, add-on, but it says the certain pieces are interchangeable. Eh, that's alright. I'll keep going. As is. Alright, let's get these straight pieces done. I'll see you all on the flip side. Whoo! Wow. Uh-oh. Uh Just for time being. That took a while. Alright, so let's see here. Um, the next step really is a st stupid easy one. Well, not stupid because this is what you're building up to. Rail straight section, you don't need to glue these in place. Because the modular and ha, ha nice. Okay, um, let me uh, adjust this. Eh. Ow! Oopsies. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, let me bring us. Here we go. Nice. There we go. So yeah, these are definitely tall enough for. Um, let me see. Let's see. These guys can. Yep. Even these dust figures, which are quite tall. Well, yeah, because we're talking. 28 mil versus 148 
Look at that, that's tall enough to uh, to move under. Okay. Ugh. Let's get this all readjusted. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Uh oh, that was too drying. Oopsies. Huh. Uh oh. Yeah, I didn't give us time to dry. Uh oh. Yeah. Down, down, smush. Put your side to dry. But these are abutments over here, but they're not abutments, piers. Yes. Put those piers over there. What's next? Do, 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 do. Oh, there be the cover pieces. Whoa. Which is three of them. Okay, that is for the next step. So, punch, punch, punch. What do we have here? Similar to the straight pieces, only you gotta be a little bit more careful. Okay, as usual, we have our gluing spots. So, one, one, three, one. <laughs> All right, glue, glue, center, center, center. Okay. Careful to clamp these in place. Let's use a little bit more finicky. Good. Good, good. I am satisfied with what I got here. Let me repeat this. Two more times and I'll be right back. Alright, so on to step seven. Okay, all of these fold almost individually. Well they've connected. So oh boy. Okay. It's almost like the uh straight, so only we've got one additional step here. Alright, um Okay. I'll see you go on there. You go there. But we have one additional step here. That involves uh, C3. Let me ball this up. Crush it into a nice ball toss and let's see here okay it looks like c3 goes here and here on the right before it uh not arch but uh turns away all right so let me just do that I personally don't know why. I think it's more of an aesthetic thing. Uh -oh. Could be wrong. Okay, so that is that. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, I gotta repeat this two more times. Set these aside. It's essentially the same thing. You take your abutments, they fit on the on those pieces there. Oh, uh, guess I'm picking this up from the middle. Here we go. Ugh. Hmm, oh, over here. So that can dry. And I gotta do this two more times. See ya on step nine. Phew, okay, so what do we have? Well, it looks like I am right about uh, step nine. Let's see. Um, you need to pop out D1. I only have enough for half, so I need to pop out. Uh oh. What piece, what piece is that? Uh, am I going to need that? Oh, look at that. One of two. So, uh oh. So, two of two? Somewhere floating around here? I mean, I thought they were all the same. I'm not seeing it besides uh, another D6 got punched out. But immediately, I'm not going to need these six. Uh, oh, okay, what was that? D8. And there goes another D6. you got to be really careful. These things pop out so easy. And I firmly believe there is no 202. Alright. Oops. A couple pieces got popped off for no reason. That's alright. So, what was that I need to pop out? D1. I said there's two D1s and I already did pop them out. Oops. Oh, well, make things. I got pop them all out anyway. So, yeah. Alright, so what's next? Uh, D1, D1, D3. Okay. This is D3. Glue and clamp both D1 and D3 pieces of shown. Huh. Let me pop out all of these. Get these out of here. So I got room to pop the others out. Well, next we got inserts or something. That get popped out. Hmm, got to uh, get my phone charger. I got enough battery here to do this. Alright, um, okay, so these are the coupler ends. I'd be interested to see how that goes. Wait, I think it's what, uh, that piece is a, a couple or something. Huh, okay. Now all the loose pieces go over there. All right, here's D1. I got battery. I got enough battery to show you this step before I gotta pause and get it all, get the others glued. All right, so, let's see. Okay, these are the bottoms. And there's the top side of the bottoms, I see. Okay. I see, says the wise man. All right, so. Whoopsies, it's actually uh, these are like that. Fascinating. I'll line them up when I get the glue on. 
and just sloppily put it on. Okay, uh, here we go. This should be a little slightly nerve wracking. You know what? I think it'd be slightly easier if I do it like that. Everything is lining up pretty good so far. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, the super glue is not drying because the humidity levels. Ah, oh, dang nabbit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Problem oh, is, this is pretty much the only good day I can do this for the rest of the week. Alright, there we go, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, uh oh. Okay, I might I might use too much super glue. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Like I said, I am not a professional by any standards. Nor am I selling myself off as a professional. At least I don't think I am or I've ever done. I see. Warning labels for the couple is neat. There we go. Phew. Cool. Now we get the undercarriage to do next, but I got huh, several of these to make up. So, wow, it's getting dark out. I'll catch you on the flip side. Alright, well, I guess every build is a slight hiccup. The things sort of don't go well. I really must advise caution. As the, um... Seems like the inserts here and the print don't line up all that well. It also doesn't help that because of the humidity in, out here, the super glue dried real quick, so I really didn't have time to keep on sliding around adjusting. Yeah, ain't that right? Normal. When you don't want super glue to dry quick, it does. When you want it to dry quick, it doesn't. Ugh. All right, so what's up with this? Well. Next is, like I said, the undercarriage. This one sh should be straightforward. We punch out D2, D5, D4. For both sheets. Alright. Alright. Uh, let me. All right, here we go. Uh, is that a difference? I don't think so. Hope not. Uh oh. I might have food barred that up. Okay. Ah, okay, it doesn't matter because of the tabs. Oops. Here we go. No, that by the thickness. Okay, so it looks like the thinner ones are D4. I'm gonna put these aside and post the tabs. They're here. The thicker ones, D5. There you go. Here. Then we have our obviously elongated D2s. Well, long pieces, I should say. 
Do 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 do. And yes, my phone is on charger. Oh boy. There we go. So let's see. Uh oh. Okay, I need to elevate this. Um. Hi, DD. Oh. My wooden die cubes. And you have to go back um, a few uh, what's on the workbench updates to see. Those things could have come in handy when I was building the, uh, the rail depot. I probably just all need to glue the tabs, but oh well. Actually, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm coming from a model railroading back, well, background, uh, you, I would do that to make sure that the part would absolutely not come out. Alright, um, he's, I'm gonna need, what do I did for the real depot, put some glue. Here and here. Uh oh, it's gonna drip out. So that way I can slide down like so and in. Oh, ooh, nice. I guess that's why I mostly backed this particular Kickstarter. Mm. As well, yes. I really do need the oh, that could use the terrain, but mostly because it appealed to my uh, my railroading senses. As I'm primarily from an old gauge uh, one foot eight scale background, yeah. For a very good while, we ran a family business. Well, my dad and mom. We ran a family business. Well, that was our thing. We built old gauge buildings. We done up rolling stock. That was easy. And then we uh, sold it. And it was rather profitable. Until it really wasn't anymore. Times have changed. And, well, nowadays we can't repeat that. Most of our customer base then were, was elderly, those who are elderly and with money. And, well, that customer base literally died out. Shame though, because we make friends with quite a few of them. But they died out, the kids want nothing to do with it, and well, yeah. I can, I feel guilty about that. With what dad was doing versus what I'm doing now. But, same time, my grandpa told my dad to not to follow an automotive business because my grandpa apparently sold times were changing and but that was all my dad knew and well, lo and behold times did change but not too much yes things got computerized but it wasn't too insane now what my dad to what I had seen with cars holy crap man my white grandpa my dad could work on is like a 
Let's see, it's a gala apple to a delicious apple. Now what I am seeing, it's like dad's delicious apple to a freaking tomato. The only thing different, similar is that they're red and they're fruit. And that is all that they have in similarities. Oops, sorry, I'm enough on a tangent there. Maybe I go off tangent more often. Let me know what you guys think. What you officer cadets think of that. Do, 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 do. Alright. I think I blabbed on long enough. I will turn the camera off and get the other carriages. I just used the British term. <gasps> Well, what is I'm going to call these? I'll get the other carriages done. <laughs> i catch you all on the flip side. Huh. I guess I'm going to have to uh, get more of these. Oh, I see. They're made on a lathe. I need to take a belt sander to these. Anyway, um. Sweet. So, step 11. Which is, we pop out D6. I think these pieces have been just dropping like flies. Yep, they are. We take D6, we fold them, we glue them. Alright, let me just punch them out. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a little bit more to it than that. Uh... Oh, wait, that's what I did. Uh... Eh. No idea about the other one yet. I think we'll find out here shortly. When I get these punched out and put on the um the freight cars. Good boy, piling up pretty nice. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Huh. Fascinating. Punch out these tabs. Glue, glue. Ah, what the heck. Eh. Fold. Let me make sure. Oh, ain't that cool? That is correct. Neat. And it's already dry. And repeat that to, let's see, he is 20, 19 times. And this is going to take a while. I'll cut. I'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, what's next? Well, we take one of these. We take four of these. Oh, should I mention? I like to point out, I really like the glowy effect that they got printed on these. Alright, so we take those, we glue them to these tabs on the edge here. Doo -doo -doo. Cause that makes it less maglev-ish and more hover. But eh, oh well. Yeet. What I think I'll do is I'll set this up in the kitchen. And it's all done. So I can see what it looks like. Uh, these are backwards. No, nope, this one was backwards. The other one was in right. Oops. Ow. There we go. No. <clears throat> Oh, 
Ooh, hello. Huh. I got fun in the distance. So this shall be interesting. Wow. I really don't know if it's coming through, guys, but I got thunder out here. Good boy. And yep, here we go. And I gotta repeat this a couple more times. Mm. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm on the clock now. Well, it's not supposed to be severe, it's just gonna be noise and rain. And those are the ones I usually knock out of power. And it's been almost decades since uh, that has happened. All right, well, I'll pause. I'll get the other four done. And I'll catch you for step 13. Oh, that cool. Well, I'll talk to you all later. See you on the flip side. Do 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 do. Okay, the last of these uh, fallen pieces. Oh, they'll be used up. All right, so we pop out D7 and D8. Still saying, I don't know what that piece is. I better keep it around. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty sure that's the coupler. So you can string up multiples. Let me just roll ahead and see if they show it. Uh, they don't talk about this piece at all. At least I initially can see. Oh wait, there's something here. It is mentioned in passing. Well, not mentioned, shown. Interesting. Huh. So this piece has been forgotten. Alright, let me ball this up. Uh, uh. Oh. Hmm. hmm. Pop you out. Yeah, that's a coupler. So what do we have here? Okay, so D7, D6, okay, they bend. You bend in, you bend out. Um, okay, so it's like that. You are like that as well. You go on there like so. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's like that. And that. And they go together like that. Hmm. Back you up. Okay. Neat. I think. Hmm. Uh oh. Be paused for technical difficulties. Okay. Let's try this again. You bend in. You bend out. Alright, so we have our, little, our glue locations here along this strip here. Okay. So, let me...
Okay, let me just put on glue on those ends like that. All right. Let me just, okay. Force you down like that. And like that and that. And there we go. Now, let me show you. Well, it's pretty much the same thing on the other side. Ooh. I don't think there's any way those are going to miss. I think that's coming my way. Oh, well, what are you going to do about it? Uh, a bit of a fatalist attitude, maybe. Same time, it's only true. Ooh, I am very sure that one came through the camera. Lovely. Yep. And there we go. Do 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 do. It's actually rather neat cause. Mm. All right. And as for this piece, that's going unmarked. It looks very simple. Just go around. Okay, that was not the power. That was this. That was the light on them using the film. It's uh, it's flickering. All right, I guess I gotta shut it down in between takes. All right, there we go. And with that, I'll. Uh, Get the other four cars done. I know. Uh oh, don't do that. See y'all on the flip side. Oh boy. Oh, here you are. Step 14, and it's uh, definitely a booming out there. But, like I said, nothing I can do about it. Okay. So, I will continue building this. Okay, looks like we're on the, uh, I'm calling it turntable, they're calling it switch point. <laughs> switch point, turning point. Alright. So what do we have here? Alright, we, it is like that. Then they want it like that, which makes absolutely total sense. I'm just gotta be careful. Because this is super glue. So let me, let me just put this here as a reference. Uh huh, you see? Okay. It sounds like the pup is awake. I heard her collar jingle. Okay, okay, okay. How's this? How's this? How are we looking? How are we looking? Um, I think I need to push you in. Okay, it's separating. Contact. We're good. I honestly think like a curved notches like that would work since it's going to be hidden. Help keep it aligned. That's uh, uh, we're good. I mean, it helped will help a little bit, but it's good. Okay, that's it for step 14. It's got to dry just a hair. 
wow, step 15 looks very involved. All right. Well, I am going to take a break for a brief moment. Close pin this up at eight different locations. Oh, good boy. Will these two meet? Will those meet? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What happened? Did this move on me? Nah, I think it'll be okay. That meets. Well, that meets. Oh my. Alright. I will let this dry. And I'll meet y'all later. Okay. Oh, wow. It's like I was happy. The thing was getting hot. All right, so what do we have? Well, we're in step 15. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Uh, E1. Pop out E1. Do, do, do. Over here. E9. Okay. Sorry, just checking on something. E2. Uh, up here. E10. Oh, what's this here? No idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me show you guys. E3. E11. About. There's several of these assemblies. Let me roll down. Ah, that's right. Aha. All right. Repeat again. E1, E2, E3, E9, E10. Oh, you really gotta be careful. The paper's sticking on these ends here. E11. Uh, okay, so what do we have? Well, they say, okay, um, I don't know if this is going to show up in the camera or not, but apparently on these pieces, okay, you can tell the sort of difference between the top and bottom. The top is kind of like that because the uh, ends around it, that's supposed to be the bottom of E1, E9. So with that in mind, E1's like that. E2 fits up into E3. Just got these we gotta poke out. Oh boy, that thunderstorm's getting closer. So what now? I can add glue. In fact, let me just add a little bit on the edges. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Okay, doesn't matter because this is mirrored. You come, you are like that. And this piece is like that. Okay, 
so it rests oh, oh, wait, yes so it rests in there hmm Alright, so what now? How about we continue pushing this up? Up and out of the way. Get some glue. Put it on like that. see. Okay, we just push it down just enough. Oh, it's not really fitting. Yes, it is. It's fitting. Alright, something like that. I think it'd be safe to put this on here like that. This is like one footy out of two per side, and there's four of them all together. So, with that, I'll pause and get the others built up. Catch you all later. Ah, that was quick. Alright, step 16. Let's see. 20E4s, there's E4, here's E4, E6, E6, Ooh, E6 is a pretty hefty piece, eh, come on, hmm. E6, E6, nice, put you aside, All right, so what are we looking at? It's a pretty big piece. Hold on. Excuse me, people. All right, so what was I? Well, I better get done here shortly so I can start uploading videos because apparently my phone memory is almost full. Gasp. And we, uh, we got these that slide together. They, then they flesh out, so I gotta build them like that. Okay, that's that's good by me. Whoa, my ears. Mostly related to those thunderstorms. Probably. Repeat this one more time. Alright, let me bug out and start moving stuff around on my phone. See you all later. Yeah, I don't think those pieces are gonna dry properly. Anyway, yeah. Step 17. We pop out both E5s. I'll ball this up later. Knock these out. Now let's see here. And then they fold um, like that. Then they go together like so. Oh, oh wait. Aha. So it's like that. Okay. Neat. Right, it's going to take a couple steps. Glue. Glue. Alright. Now I'll catch you on the flip side. Alright, next step is simple. I had already uh, divvied up the uh, pieces involved. It's uh, the first two that we made for this assembly. These pieces. 
I, I had already, like I said, divvied them up already. So they go together like so. And so this can dry, it just rests on here. Oh, wow, that's a very substantial piece. And I'll catch you all on the flip side for the next step. And here we are. Well, we're not done yet. So we're in step 19, which is uh, super familiar. <laughs> it's identical to the straight pieces. But I think I can skip ahead and do something else here. Yeah, that'll be later. Let me just get this in. Okay. Making sure my alignment's all good. And the rest of the storms is to my south. So I'm, I'm pretty fine. that dry for a very short moment. Alright, uh Yeah, I got other things I can I can do. I'll let this dry for a brief moment. Cut you all on the flip side. And just like the um, regular rail sections, you fold these down, glue it in place. Now oh, this is cool. Now it definitely spin a lot smoother if you you uh, perhaps to trim it, get all the rough nubs off. I think it'll be okay. That was essentially step 20. Let's see all the other steps. So, that, I'll push this aside. Ugh. And we go to step 21, which is, uh, what is it, F1? F1, punch. Theme, but I'm going to increase that strength for no reason other than I want to. Okay, let me position this around. Nice. Oh, I think I'm building the control terminal for this thing. Cool. Um. At some point, that will be needed. But I'm pretty confident by the time I get to it, it'll be dry. So let's pop out everything else. F6. Not as much scrap as the um, maglev depot. What's that? F7. Okay. And that was the pile of, of rails. Uh, we paused for technical difficulties. 
Okay, um, so what's next? F4. Hmm, I think it's up enough where you go. F5. Let me ball this up. Alright, um, so pop you out, pop you out. I'm gonna say you go like that. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I really don't think I got a strength, got good. You go like that, then you go like that. Okay. That's a lot of leeway room. Okay, I'll do that. With the corner, a little bit there, at the corner. Okay. You come down like so. Then you. Oh boy. Hmm. Then, uh, F1, hold on, how is F1 going here? That was F1, F6, okay, so this comes into play now. Oh, I see. This just sits, it does not get glued. So it just sits like that. So you can take it out and flip it. Cool. Slight cinematic style piece. I like that. Hmm. So, that we do that. Uh huh, uh huh. And that's it. So, the glue, I'm going to leave this out so that can glue. Alright. Let me put together a few of these and uh, so we can finalize this video. Okay, so there we go. Maglev starter, Maglev add on done. Uh, it took for both sets just as long for me to uh, build as the Maglev depot, about four hours. But this, this is definitely a lot. Um, the only hard part I had was uh, the strongest connections. If you're a rail fan buff, you know why I said that. And yeah, um, getting these two and these two together wasn't easy easy I think uh, there, there's still a little bit of room improvement but I know why they didn't go like round it because they wanted the, the uh, section to be like um, well, mm, do you pretty much it to be symmetrical yes I think that's what I'm looking for so it is tricky. So if you're not using super glue, it you got plenty of time to move all the pieces around, get all aligned. So yeah. Alright, there we go. 
that is my only word of caution. Not really complaint. At least something to keep an eye out on. Uh, I, uh, a builder's note or something like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's really all I can say about this. It was an easy build, a great um, assembly. And yeah, those are my thoughts. I'll catch you all next week when I build the containers that goes on top of these. That will be fun. <laughs>